Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received at Sakhir Palace the Foreign Affairs Minister of Thailand, Don Pramodwini, who was on a visit to the kingdom to participate in the third meeting of the High Bahraini Thai Joint Committee. His Majesty the King affirmed the deep rooted cooperation relations between Bahrain and Thailand and the development they witness in all fields. His Majesty welcomed the Thai Minister, who conveyed the greetings of the Thai King, Vijiri Longkorn Debaya, and the Thai Prime Minister, Youth Chanucha and the Thai King's wishes of further development and progress to Bahrain. His Majesty the King requested the Thai Minister to convey his greetings and wishes of further prosperity to the Thai King and people. His Majesty noted the positive results of the High Bahraini Thai Joint Committee meeting, which will contribute to enhancing bilateral cooperation. His Majesty also hailed the results of His Majesty's visit to Thailand the previous year, which contributed to the development of joint relations affirming that Thailand possesses a central role in its Asian and international environment. His Majesty noted the advanced level the Bahraini-Thai relations reach, affirming the Kingdom's aspirations to bolster current partnerships and to benefit from the two countries' competencies and potential. He expressed appreciation for the Thai community's contributions to the development of the Kingdom. For his part, the Thai Foreign Affairs Minister expressed appreciation for His Majesty's role and efforts to bolster bilateral cooperation and coordination, asserting that his visit is an extension of mutual visits between senior officials of the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Rafa Palace today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand, Ton Pramodwini, and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance the bilateral relations to develop economic and commercial exchange between the two countries. He also expressed pride in the growing Bahraini Thai relations, which are based on mutual respects and understanding, stressing the importance of coordinating between the officials of the two countries to set the necessary mechanisms to implement the agreements and memorandums of understanding signed between the two countries. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the High Joint Bahraini Thai Committee in strengthening the relations and communication between the two countries. His Royal Highness asserted that the strategic location of the two countries should be employed to bolster relations in the economic and political fields, highlighting the role of investors of both countries to strengthening economic and commercial ties. He recalled the successful visit of the Thai Prime Minister Parayut Chanucha to Bahrain, which resulted in the development of cooperation between the two countries. The Prime Minister hailed the role of the Thai community in Bahrain in supporting the development process of the kingdom in all sectors, stressing the support of the government for them. He also praised the development of the Kingdom of Thailand in all fields, noting its role in the ASEAN Association as an active member at the economic and political levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister requested the Thai Foreign Minister to convey his greetings to the Thai Prime Minister and his wishes to Thailand and its people of further progress and prosperity. For his part, the Thai Foreign Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his efforts that aim at strengthening the ties between the two countries. He also affirmed his country's keenness to support the cooperation between the two countries to achieve mutual interests.
Chairperson of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated Bahrain International Garden Show this evening, held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa expressed sincere thanks and appreciation for the royal patronage of the agricultural sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain, underlining the importance of this patronage on the progress of the agricultural sector and the acceleration of national efforts to promote the culture of spreading green spaces in the Kingdom of Bahrain as a cultural and humanitarian feature and supporting special activities and programs to raise the sector's contribution to the Kingdom's GDP of the national economy. Her Royal Highness recalled the historical efforts of the rulers of Al Khalifa and their interest in agricultural development and their support for many specialized activities, particularly the Bahrain Gardens Show, which started as a national events since the 1950s. She called for the importance of food, safety and human health through proper production, which ensures the provisions of agricultural products. Her Royal Highness stressed that the theme of this year's show is to shed light on the agricultural aspects and practices that should be taken into account by presenting the latest technologies in the agricultural production and irrigation processes to ensure the quality and safety of crops. Her Royal Highness honored the winners of the Bahrain Garden Club competition where Faiq al Awadi won the cup of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa in the garden category. Najah al Qadr won the cup of the late Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa for the category of flowers and Tariq Jabri for vegetables category. Dr. Ahmed Abdullah won the award of Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa for professional photography. It's a Kamadan in the amateur category, Noor Ahmed Saleh for the students category, Ayman Al Jabri, the His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa's award for best garden category, and Taha Jabri with Sheikh Ahaya bint Muhammad Al Khalifa's best show of rare and exotic plants. The show was attended by 155 exhibitors from Bahrain as well as a large number of companies specialized in the agricultural field from different countries of the world such as the United States of America, France, Italy, Netherlands, Russia, Greece, United Kingdom, Japan, India, China, Indonesia, Turkey, Mali and a number of agricultural companies from regional and Arab countries such as Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Morocco, Jordan and Syria. The exhibition will host the Farmers Market Pavilion where 14 selected Bahrain Bahraini farmers participate in the show. The exhibition also includes a children's pavilion. The National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector will organize specialized courses through the exhibition on the quality of food products in cooperation with the four Greek companies specialized in the production of organic foods such as organic olive oil, natural honey and natural herbs and avocado production. These courses aim at introducing specialists in production methods and opening horizons of cooperation for partnerships new trade between Bahrain and Greece. The Bahrain International Garden Show is supported by Bahrain World Trade Center, Kuwait Finance House, Viva Bahrain, Elba, GPIC and Muntelika's Bahrain Holding Company.
The beautiful spring event has become an international landmark full of innovation and achievement. It strongly established itself as a leading gardening show in the Arabian Gulf and a perfect opportunity for exporters as well as investors into gardening, green products, agricultural sectors and related industries to introduce themselves to regional and international markets. The Bahrain International Garden Show has come such a long way. There is strong international participation at the show. There is very strong local particip participation at the show that's rich and beautiful. The organizations who, are, who have been with us have been outdoing themselves year after year. I'm also proud to say that the Garden Show has helped many a business launch itself and its services at the Garden Show so that people get to know them. The show highlights unique and successful experiments that reflect the value of local and foreign participations in agriculture and landscaping and attention to greenery, attracting 155 exhibitors from Bahrain and all over the world to exchange successful experiences and showcase their various agricultural products and services with a great focus on health and safety. I'm from uh, West Africa, Mali and um, I've been invited here to show my textile design work, uh, all dyed with natural dyes, with uh, indigo dye. So what I'm offering uh, was very special here is uh, how from green leaves we can make all those different shades of, of blue. I think this is a fantastic exhibition. It's a great opportunity for us at David Harbour Limited to showcase our work internationally. Uh, we um, value our Middle Eastern orders and our Middle Eastern clients greatly and this is a fantastic platform from which to do that. Very proud to bring this Bamboo House to the people of Bahrain here. Bamboo House is uh, is eco-friendly, it is the most sustainable product and everyone is going eco now. It is amazing to know that bamboo grows around three to four meters a day, so that talks about its sustainability. Our company is dealing with organic Cretan herbs, uh, loose tea. Uh, this means that we offer you whole leaves or parts of plants which are cultivated in Crete. They are all uh, organic certified. We are trying to share our experiences when it comes to food safety and the sustainability of the agriculture sector in total. Uh, as I said, it's an honor for us to share this experience, not only from us to uh, the participants in here, but also from them to us. We're trying to share their knowledge and we're trying to take it back home as well. Everything that has to do with the food safety, basically we are looking after 14,000 food establishment in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi alone. Uh, in order for us to do this, we need to adopt technology. So what we are trying to present today is the full inspection system, uh, mobile system, it's on the field system, live data that gets transferred from the field to the back office. Moreover, students with special needs are actively participating and showcasing their talents and skills, aiming to compete in the market. Uh, this is the produce of our special needs students from Al Rahma Center. They, uh, they started with an empty plot of land with nothing in it and we've ended up now with crops that we are showcasing at the garden show. Uh, we have found that this, uh, this program the, has, has changed them enormously. They have become more confident in themselves. The exhibition further develops the agricultural sector by supporting best practices, skills and talents through the annual contest of Bahrain Gardens Club. I'm the winner for the exotic cups and uh, it is mean the, the plants which is uh, rarely or difficult to be planted in the Bahrain. We use the spring water and uh, no chemicals, uh, everything is 100% natural. That's why that's the reason we are a little bit more special than the others. It's not only an annually anticipated event that dazzles the public with innovation and beauty. It carries an important message to the business community. Bahrain's agriculture sector is ripe for investment. Since its establishment in 2004, the International Garden Show continues to serve as an excellent platform for experts and enthusiasts to further develop their knowledge and skills in agriculture. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul -Ghafur. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for the disabled is Hana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the strongest Bahraini man competition under the theme Be a Monster will be commenced tomorrow at Bahrain Bay under the organization of the media office of Hana Sheikh Khalid. The competitions will continue until Saturday the 24th and their revenue will be donated to support cancer patients. On this occasion, 
Association, Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure in the wide participation, adding that the event aims to support the Bahraini youth. His Highness stated that the competition reflects the vision and directives of the wise leadership to organize such events which reinforce the kingdom's reputation as a hub for sporting events. His Highness praised the efforts of the Higher Organizing Committee, affirming that the wide participation at the press conference and the technical beating of the championship reflect the success of the event. He hailed the support of various institutions to the competition. His Highness concluded by wishing the participants success in the event. The aim of this game is just to add something to the, the Bahrain's people to, to, to go for uh, to compete something new. And there is one very important idea for these things. We are focusing how important is the sports for us, for all of us, even for children. As you see, there is compete, competitions for the child. We want to build these things to these guys, to the child. We want to relate the, the sports to the health. How the, the sports yeah, and help them to get very uh, healthy, or to be healthy, for the you know for the future these guys are our future these are bahrain's future i'd like to thank uh, his highness sheikh Khalid bin hamad al-khalifa for this uh, initiative that encouraged uh, cancer patients to to uh, to involve in the community uh, by by uh, even to, to raise this slogan that uh, in arabic is called khalik wash and this has encouraged them and motivated them to uh, uh, be normal in the community and uh, and this such support that his highness raised it for them that uh, motivate them also to fight for this uh, for this ill it gives awareness that health is important in fighting any illness whether it's cancer or any other illness so it, this this event will raise in bahrain the importance of being healthy and to um, uh, to, uh, to be to, to healthy and lead a healthy life and I, I really hope I'm not I'm sure that this event will be very successful and it will uh, have a great uh, seek uh, like the, the people will be aware of how important is uh, sports and being healthy in fighting any kind of disease and I wish all the uh, best of luck for all the participants in such event. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inaugurate the 21st Gulf Engineering Forum at GEF 2018, organized by the Gulf Engineering Union and Bahrain Society of Engineers at the Ritz Carlton. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness Prime Minister for delegating him to inaugurate the forum, which aims to develop the profession and the practical and technical abilities of Gulf engineers. He stated that the organizers were successful in selecting the main topic that will be discussed during the forum which is disputes in engineering projects and resolution methods. The forum focuses on the evolution of contractual terms, amicable arbitration and judicial resolution of disputes, origins and causes of disputes, supply demand and engineering projects among others.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand, Don Pramod Winai, who is currently visiting the country. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the bilateral developing relations, highlighting the mutual support of the two countries in all fields, as well as in regional and international issues of mutual interest. The Minister also affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to reinforce cooperation and coordination with Thailand to fulfill the aspirations of the two countries and people. For his part, the Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed the keenness of Thailand to develop relations with Bahrain in all levels, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. Meanwhile, the High Joint Bahraini Thai Committee held its third meeting where the Minister of Foreign Affairs highlighted the diplomatic relations between the two countries that date back to 40 years. He also stressed the importance of official visits between the two countries in strengthening these relations, scaling, recalling the visit of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to Thailand to attend the Second Asian Cooperation Dialogue, the ACD Summit, held in Bangkok in October 2016, and the visit of the Prime Minister of Thailand General Parayu Chanucha to Bahrain in April 2017. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the importance of the High Joint Bahraini Thai Committee meeting in bolstering bilateral relations in various fields. He also noted the importance of the signed agreements and memorandums of understanding on cooperation in various fields. During the meeting, the two sides expressed pleasure in the advanced level of the Bahraini Thai relations, hailing the mutual support in all international events. The two parties stressed the need to enhance the follow up on the bilateral agreements signed and the mechanisms to activate them and implement them in order to further develop cooperation relations in all fields. The fourth meeting of the committee will be held in Thailand. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, chaired today the Council's 43rd meeting at the Ministry's Court in Isa Town in the presence of the Board Chairman of the Labour Fund, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the President of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Zayani. The Council hailed the commencement of the first stage of implementing King Abdullah Medical Project, with the Council also confirmed the follow up with the completion of all institutional accreditation requirements by all higher educational institutions. The Higher Military Court of Appeal held its session today where it issued the ruling on its appeals filed against the preliminary ruling issued in the case of forming a terrorist cell and committing a number of other terrorist crimes. The court ruled to reject the appeal of the military prosecution against the following convicts and uphold the appealed sentence in the acquittal of Ali Ahmed Khalifa Salman Al Karbabadi, Hussein Asam Hussein Al Darazi, Muntadar Fawaz Abdul Karim Mahdi, Rami Ahmed Ali Al Ariash and Muhammad Abdullah Ibrahim Abbas. The court also ruled to discontinue the appeal of the military prosecution against the following sentenced persons as the conviction was issued in absentia and their right to an appeal still stands. Murtadha Majid Ramadan Ali Al Sindi, Habib Abdullah Hassan Ali Al Jamri, Hussein Ali Mahsin Bidaw, Al Sayyid Muhammad Qasim Muhammad, and Ali Jafar Hassan Al Rayas. The court decided to accept the two appeals of the following and amend the appealed sentence with the punishment of five years in incarceration for Hussein Muhammad Ahmed Shahab and Muhammad Yusuf Marhun Al Ajmi. The court also decided to reject the appeals of the following and uphold the appeal prison sentence of seven years for Muhammad Abdul Hussein Salah Shahabi and Muhammad Abdul Wahid Muhammad Al Najjar. The appeal court anonymously rejected the appeals of the following and upheld the appealed sentence to capital punishment for attempted murder or incitement to commit manslaughter, as well as incarceration for 15 years for the remaining charges for the following persons. Soldier Mbarak Adil Mbarak Mhanna, but Father Al Sayyid Abbas Hassan Radhi, Al Sayyid Alawi Hussein Alawi Hussein, and Muhammad Abdul Hussein Ahmed Al Madghawi. The court also upheld the appealed sentence to revoke the citizenship of all the convicts. The trial session was attended by representatives of human rights institutions and associations as well as media representatives.
Bahrain Fintech Bay highlights its launch today with the announcement of startups and founding partners. Bahrain Fintech Bay, the largest fintech hub in the Middle East and Africa, announces its founding partners, coinciding with its launch today in Bahrain. It will work with established industry leaders and new entrants from Bahrain and the region and around the world to drive innovation and create opportunities for growth. That there are several capitals in the world that are leading in fintech. Singapore is one of them, London is one of them, New York is another. And I think we see Bahrain as being one of those leading capitals in fintech if we can execute well on our strategy. And I think we've already progressed in that. Uh, today, Fintech Bay completes that. And we're working with the Singapore Fintech Consortium who will have a, who will be the operator of this space, who will have, who already has presence in Singapore and New York and that ties in these three cities, Singapore, uh, New York, and Bahrain, so that we can have startups and fintech companies move between these three cities. And I think we are already seeing the fruits of that. We have four companies that are going to start today uh, with a presence here, three of them from the United States. Bahrain Fintech Bay will play a central role in growing the supportive ecosystem that is necessary for innovation to thrive. The facilitation of co-working and incubation, combined with Bahrain's regulatory sandbox and focus on opening up access to funding, is creating an ideal environment for startups and corporates to test and then scale across the region. It's not only a meeting point where anybody playing in the fintech space can come here, whether it's financial institutions, technology companies, government agencies, or fintechs, whether locally, regionally, or internationally, but also it is a complete ecosystem which is supported technically, financially, and logistically by the financial institutions here, local, regional, and international, and also the technology companies here internationally. And we've got over 30 partners here, and we're, we're introducing some new partners to Bahrain for the first time here. So we think this is a really good piece which can be a catalyst for pushing Bahrain's fintech ecosystem to the next level. It will work with its founding partners, representing a broad cross-section of Bahraini and global financial services and technology industry leaders, to leverage their combined resources and network to identify, prioritize and address industry-wide challenges and utilize economics of scale to implement solutions that bring innovation that captures the regional opportunity to build on Bahrain's leadership as a financial center. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the golf competitions of Nasser bin Hamad Falconry and the hunting competition commenced today. The Falconers gave an outstanding performance with more than 70 participants. Emirati Falconer Khalfan Shafir won first place in the hybrid category and Emirati Falconer Hamad Al Ahmed bin Mijran won another category after a strong competition, especially from the United Arab Emirates. The first day of the competition witnessed the wide participation of owners, falconers and the sports enthusiasts.